Hi, everybody. I'm Pierre Bouvard, Chief Insights Officer here at Cumulus Media and Westwood One at the Audio Active Group. And if you're looking for a way to add significant reach with an engaged audience, look no further than the NFL on Westwood One. We are excited to bring you the brand new 2024 Westwood One NFL Listening Report with brand new research from Nielsen, MRI Simmons, Maru Matchbox, and the NFL itself. Across all of these studies, looking for five key takeaways about the Westwood One NFL platform, you will find an engaged audience with mass reach close to the point of purchase with incredibly desirable consumers and a media platform that will make your TV better. The NFL on Westwood One shares the characteristics with all radio play-by-play, -play, and that is the most passionate and the most engaged sports fans listen to play-by-play -play on the radio. The brand new Nielsen study conducted for the 23-24 season reveals that across the entire Westwood One NFL season, 64 million Americans are reached. And the way to capture those Americans are to buy long in the season and deep into games. Because nine out of 10 Westwood One NFL listeners are listening away from home at one point or another, this is a audience that you can reach folks on the path to purchase. And Nielsen reveals the consumers are highly desirable. The Westwood One NFL footprint is bigger than the national average when it comes to youth, employment, kids in the household, household size, and is much more upscale than the US average. And Nielsen reveals NFL on Westwood One makes your TV better with incremental reach and amplified frequency. Now, for the last decade, Nielsen has been conducting portable people meter studies that does something called panel unification. They take the PPM, portable people meter panel, reduce it down to all of those panelists that were listening and available throughout the entire NFL season. And they do this to understand the total reach of the NFL and Westwood One. And when we first started doing these studies, the season long reach was about 48 million people. About five years ago, it grew to 56 million across the entire season. And in the just released study, which consisted of the 23-24 season, the total season long reach of the NFL and Westwood One was an astounding 64 million people. Now, how does this reach accumulate over time? What Nielsen's study reveals is that reach grows each and every game and each and every week, meaning there are new different listeners coming into the Westwood One NFL platform every single week. Now, why is this? Well, this is because at any point in time, someone is late coming home from work, they're picking up a child at the mall, or they're coming back from visiting uh, in-laws or parents. And so in the car, radio is the best available screen. So if you take a look at the first week of the season, you get 8 million consumers. By the end of week four, you're up to 21 million new different people. At the end of week eight, 34 million. At the end of week 13, 45 million. And through the entire regular season, there's 54 million uniques exposed. But then look what happens in the postseason. 10 million new different people are now absorbed into the NFL and Westwood One for a total of 64 million people. Now, new data from the NFL itself through a study they call the Game Day Audience Study, which examines all of the touch points of the NFL, finds that adding Westwood One's NFL broadcast to an existing video buy generates significant incremental reach, especially in younger demographics. The NFL study reveals among 18 to 34 men, the Westwood One NFL platform generates 19% incremental reach among upscale men 18 to 49 it's a 16 percent lift in incremental reach and across the entire footprint the westwood one on nfl generates 10 percent new different people not available 
to the video broadcast. Now, another aspect of the Nielsen Portable People Meter Analysis was to look at the socioeconomic characteristics of the Westwood One NFL audience. And in a word, it is upscale. When you compare Westwood's NFL audience to the national average, you find it's 14% more likely to have big households. Those are four or more folks in the household. 28% more likely to have children in the household, 11% more likely to be employed, and an astonishing 25% greater likelihood that the household in the Westwood One NFL play-by-play -play audience is earning an income of $75,000 a year. Now, Nielsen's analysis reveals that in the car, radio is truly the best available screen. Their portable people meter analysis across the 23-24 season revealed that at one point or another, nine out of 10 of the Westwood One NFL audience is listening away from home, in car, at work, or some other place. So truly, you're reaching folks on the path to purchase. And remember, even though these are prime time games, Monday night, Thursday night, Sunday night with an 8 p.m. East Coast kickoff, in the mountain regions, in the West Coast, you're right in the middle of afternoon drive with folks returning from work. Now, the spring 2024 MRI Simmons study revealed something fascinating about the difference between the NFL radio audience and the NFL TV audience. They examined five key characteristics, and their conclusion is that the NFL radio play-by-play -play audience is simply more sports engaged and more sports passionate. The five dimensions that the NFL, uh, that the MRI examined were attending a sports event. Do folks have uh, a sports app on their phone? Uh, do their friends and family seek them out for sports advice and insights? Are they a sports category influential consumer? And lastly, do they participate in fantasy sports? The first column represents the percentage of the NFL TV audience that fits into any of these five engagement categories. The next column represents the NFL radio play-by-play -play audience. Wow, look at the difference between the radio audience and the TV audience for the NFL. As an advertiser, what do you think is the more sports passionate and sports engaged? Which platform do you want your ad in? Because you know it's more lean forward and people are really far more attentive. Well, look no further than the NFL radio audience. When it comes to attending any sports event, the NFL radio audience is 76% more likely to go to an actual game compared to the NFL TV audience. They're 48% more likely to have a sports app on their phone. The radio NFL audience is 72% more likely to be considered a sports maven, 91% more likely to be seen as a sports influential consumer, and one and a half times more likely to have fantasy sports participation. So clearly the NFL play-by-play -play radio audience is much more passionate, much more engaged, and that means your ads have far greater impact because people are simply leaning in more and they're more attentive. But let's look at another dimension of sports passion. Do people have the NFL app on their phone? Well, about one out of five Americans have the NFL app on their phone. Among the TV audience, about two out of five. But look at that radio play-by-play -play audience, whether it's the streaming AM and FM audience or whether it's the over the air, play-by-play -play radio audience, seven out of 10 have the NFL app on their phone, nearly twice as many as the TV audience. Again, the radio audience is simply more engaged and more sports passionate. The last characteristic, which clearly reveals who is more sports engaged, comes in the form of sports betting data from MRI Simmons from their just released spring 2024 report across all of the NFL the radio audience is twice as likely than the TV audience to be sports better. So your ad just works that much harder. Now, another reason why your ads have greater impact in the NFL Westwood One play-by-play -play, uh, broadcast is this type of consumer called the super influentials. MRI Simmons says these are people that are experts on a category, 
and people seek them out when they're going to make a purchase of a product or a service. So from the MRI study, here's a, a long list of these categories, automotive, finance, home electronics. The first column represents the index of the NFL TV audience. The second column is the index of the NFL radio audience. As you can see, for every category, the radio audience is far more likely to be the super influential consumers. Let's look across some more categories, home improvement, movies, music, pets, restaurants, prescription drugs, entertainment, TV shows. Overall, the NFL TV audience is about 16% more likely than the national average to be considered super influential consumers. The NFL play-by-play -play radio audience, 59% more likely than the US average to be considered a super influential consumer. So this means when you're using the Westwood One NFL platform, you're reaching this upscale audience, but you're also impacting many millions of other people who seek out the opinion on all these product categories from the Westwood One audience. And overall, on average, the NFL audience versus the TV audience, 37% more likely to be considered these super influential consumers. So five key takeaways. The NFL and Westwood One's audience is simply more engaged. They're more sports passionate. They're leaning in more. They're more attentive and your ads work really hard. But this is a mass reach platform. Nielsen revealing across the entire season, 64 million unique consumers exposed by the NFL on Westwood One. And because nine out of 10 of these audience is reached at some point or another away from home, you're reaching folks on the path to purchase in car, at work, or some other place. And Nielsen reveals this is a desirable set of consumers way over indexing on household size, uh, kids, uh, employment, and significantly more likely to be 75,000 plus income. And the data right from the NFL itself reveals that radio makes your TV better. Putting the NFL and Westwood One into your media plan generates incremental reach, especially in the younger demos, especially in the upscale demos, uh, really elevating the media plan. The Audio Active Group here at Cumulus Media and Westwood One is a full service brand advisory offering measurement and creative best practices uh, along with audio insights. Uh, each and every week, we publish a new audio case study. You can find it on our blog, the Audio Active Group blog at cumulusmedia.com or westwood1.com. And when you're there, you can click off to the right to sign up to get the weekly uh, Audio Active Group audio insight sent directly to your email box. Thanks so much for the opportunity to take you through the just released 2024 NFL listening study on Westwood One. Thanks so much.